Hello, it's Celia, and I hope you all are having a great day. Here in Paris, it's a very hot day, it's sunny, and I can't wait to go out and read in the park. But first, I would like to tell you a little bit about the book. No, the books I'm currently reading and the book I'm planning to read next. So I have two books that I'm currently reading. The first one is a collection of poems called Crow from the Life and Songs of the Crow by Ted Hughes. And these poems centers around this mystical figure called Crow. He is kind of dark and a bit sinister, and, but also kind of darkly funny. And yeah, this is my first poetry collection by Ted Hughes, and I am, yeah, pretty excited. I'm better reading this with Miriam Frey, and I will leave the link to her blog down below. The next book. I'm reading is Now is the Hour by Tom Spanbauer and this is my first encounter with him and this is amazing. I really love it and I think I understand that when I was at like page 20 or something. This is beautiful. This is a building roman or a coming of age story set in Idaho in a little farm town in 1967. And the main character is Rigby John, and we meet him first, and he is fleeing home and trying to fetch a hike to go to San Francisco. And while he's standing there alone on the highway, he is telling the story about his life. And this is a story that I think is both very American because of the setting, and also some of the cultural aspects, but at the same time it's so universal. It talks about identity and sexuality, uh, about religion and its hypocrisy. It's about relationships, about having parents and trying to get them to love you or like you for who you are and maybe not managing that. It's about friendship, it's about sexual relationships, it's about racism and to get to the conclusion that your parents are not necessarily right in what they are telling you or teaching you. And it's about how to try to fit in and eventually trying to break free from this harsh and very narrow-minded upbringing. And yeah, I really like Rigby John. He is an amazing character. Uh, he is so relatable, I think. Even though I'm not 17, I'm not a boy, I can relate to a lot of his feelings and a lot of his thoughts and I think regardless of your where you come from your sexuality your gender and your experiences I think you will find something in this book that you could relate to um, yeah I also found a new favorite character beside Rigby John in this book, and that's Billy Cody. She is his girlfriend, and <laughs> she is just... <sighs> I wish I had a friend like that, or... yeah. So, yeah, what else is it to say? What else is it to say? I have like, I don't know, 100 pages left. I'm loving it. The prose is beautiful and it's like I'm reading it both with my brain and my heart. For me it's a very emotional read. There are moments in this book where I was just sobbing my eyes out and at the same time there are things that are just so 
funny and heartwarming. It is also kind of brutal and it feels very realistic. So yeah, I love it. If I end up doing a favorite read of 2017, this will be on the top. I am quite positive. So yeah, now is the hour by Tom Spanbauer. Read it. If you want. The next book I will be reading is Gather the Daughters by Jenny Melamed. Melamed? I'm not sure how to pronounce her name, but this is the book. This is a new release and it takes place on a remote island where a group of people has moved and started their own cult where the men or the boys are the head of the household and are allowed to experience things and the women and the girls are bound to the houses and to bear children and like in and like in the Amish culture like the Rumspringa they have a tradition where all the kids are let loose for a period of time where they can go and make their own experiences and at some point one of the girls is seeing something she shouldn't have seen and that make things happen I think. Uh, I have to be honest the only reason why I picked up this book is because it was a cult so I hope it will be something like maybe The Handmaid's Tale or something in that direction. I am kind of I am kind of worried that this might be more like The Village by M. Night Shyamalan. So, yeah, that worries me a bit, but I need to read it. So, a little recap. I am currently reading Crow by Ted Hughes. Now is the hour by John Spanbauer. And my next read will be Gather the Daughters by Jenny Melamed. Have you read any of these books? Please let me know what you think of them uh, and what are your reading plans? Please let me know. So that was all from me. Um, thank you so much for watching and enjoy your day. Until next time, bye bye.